In a frenetic haze of sound and sight, a new concept of music has begun to penetrate the senses of Britain's already hopped up beat fans. Some call it free sound, others prefer to include it in the psychedelic wave of isms already circulating around the Western Hemisphere. But this music, here and now, is that of the Pink Floyd, a group of four young musicians, a light man, and an array of equipment sadistically designed to shatter the strongest nerves. The Pink Floyd are new on the London scene. They've stupefied audiences at all-night raves, in church halls, at the Albert Hall, and on various tours in Britain. They've yet to make their debut on records. But perhaps the Pink Floyd themselves are most qualified to tell you what it's all about. We didn't start out trying to get anything new, you know, we just, it, it entirely happened. We originally started virtually as a, an R&B group. Yeah, sometimes we just sort of let loose a bit and started hitting the guitar a bit harder and not worrying quite so much about the chords. It stopped being sort of third-rate academic rock, you know, it started being a sort of intuitive groove, really. It's free form. In sort of terms of construction, it's almost like jazz where you start off with a riff and then you improvise on this, except, except to, it, to some extent the improvisation. Where it differs from jazz is that when you're, if you're improvising around a jazz number, if it's a 16 bar number, you stick to 16 bar choruses and you take 16 bar solos. Whereas with us it starts and we may play three choruses of something that lasts for 17 and a half bars each chorus. And then it'll all start happening. And yeah. it'll stop happening when it stops happening, and it may be 423 bars later, or four. And it's not like jazz music, because um, we all want to be pop stars, we don't want to be jazz yeah, musicians. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, we play for people to dance to. They don't seem to dance much now. But, well, well, that's the initial idea, so we play loudly, and we're playing with electric guitars. So, uh, I mean, we're, we're utilising all the volume and all the effects you can get. But now, in fact, we're trying to develop this by using the light. Yes, of course. Yeah, like but the thing about the jazz thing is that we don't have this great musician thing, you know. We don't, uh, we don't really look upon ourselves as musicians as such, you know. Period. Reading the dots and yeah. all that stuff. <laughs> How important is the visual aspect of the production? Very, very, very important. important. It's quite a revelation to have people operating something like lights while you're playing, as a direct stimulus to what you're playing. It's rather like audience reaction, except it's um, sort of on a higher level. You know, you can respond to it, and then the lights will respond back. There are various sorts of lights. There's simply flashing spotlights that are worked off a sort of control board, rather like a piano, so that they can be used very rhythmically. Yeah. And then there are a sort of effect lights that are um, usually coloured slides or wet slides, which are slides with some sort of liquids on them, so that you get some movement. Or they might be actual movies such, in which case, um, as they have their own set speed and, and sequence that, that can't be altered by the operators, it, this changes the uh, formation to some extent because we tend immediately to play to that. Mm. What happens at a performance? What happens with your audience? What's the feel you get? Well, if we them? get very excited and we get very excited when we're playing very well, then the audience gets very excited as well, you know. Do they dance? They you may dance. It depends upon the sort of number and what's happening. Yeah, and anyway, you, you hardly ever get the sort of dancing right from the beginning that you yeah. get just as a response to the rhythm. Usually people stand there, and if they sort of work themselves into some sort of hysteria while they're there... Yes, they the dancing dance takes the, front, the form of a front. frenzy, which is very good. They don't all stand in a line and do the mad sense. The audience tend to be standing there and just one or two people maybe will suddenly flip out and rush <laughs> forward and start yeah. leaping up and down, you know. Yeah. Freak out, I think, is probably the word they're searching for. You know, it's an excellent thing, because this is what dancing is. This is really what dancing is. <laughs>